Good morning. It's wonderful that you are with us this morning. This is actually the last of our daily devotional videos, definitely for a little while. We've now done them for six months and uh, we've heard good feedback and hopefully people have been blessed. Hopefully you've been blessed by watching them. But uh, we just feel six months in, uh, we are going to stop this for now. But if we go back into a strict lockdown here in Holland, uh, and people are just stuck to their homes for longer periods of time, we may well pick it up again, but for now we're going to stop. So this is the last one, and uh, we are just going to look at Psalm 23 together, this beautiful, beautiful psalm written by David, uh, Psalm 23. I'll read it. You can uh, listen along uh, or follow along in your Bible if you want. It says this, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I love this psalm. It's just beautiful. I think that in our lives we can be facing many challenges. We can be facing enemies, uh, real or uh, real physical or um, spiritual or emotional or financial or relational or uh, health-wise, whatever enemies and battles we find ourselves in, we can find ourselves in very different circumstances and yet what difficult circumstances, but what David so beautifully models for us in this psalm is, is coming to God in the midst of all this and just reminding ourselves who God is. The Lord is my shepherd. Man, I shall not want. God gives me everything that I need. It's like in the midst of our battles, we lift our eyes to Jesus. We lift our eyes to our heavenly father and, uh, we can say these words that David said a few thousand years ago, and they still ring true in our own hearts. This is the truth of what it is to live with Jesus, live with God close to us, and uh, even understanding that God, in the midst of our challenges, in the midst of our enemies, God prepares a table for us. It means that God doesn't always take us out of our circumstances, but in the midst of our circumstances, God invites us to be with him, God is close to us. God refreshes us. He restores us. God is able to give us an abundance of joy. My cup overflows. Just this whole psalm is so beautifully written and beautifully expresses God's desire that the reality of living with him is always the most important thing in our lives. As we live out in the challenges of the world around us, our life with him is always first and paramount. Hey, God bless you, dear friends. Keep on engaging with Jesus. Keep on holding on to him. If you've been watching these every day, God bless you. Come back to God every morning, even without these videos. Just say, God, I'm here to meet with you. And uh, may you know God's blessing and hand on your life every day and his closeness to you by the Holy Spirit. God bless you, dear friends.